Welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. This video solely came from the fact that I have an idea stuck in my head. An idea that I needed to get out and put into reality so that I can just see if it's something that's going to work. It's an idea that I like. It came from Sunday's video. On Sunday's video I showed a clip of some baby guppies that I had put in with uh, some cherry shrimp and a uh, scuds culture I had going uh, because I was growing them out. And the baby guppies were there because I rescued them from the seven foot tank. All the stuff I already told you guys. And it was the only tank I have that doesn't have fish in it already. So I put them in there and they've been growing really well. And all that's in there for them to eat are obviously shrimplets and baby scuds. And of course probably some other microorganisms and they probably also peck at the algae wafers I feed that. So I came up with this idea of culturing algae like two big cultures uh, the two center tanks here the, I can actually ignore the middle one because I wanted it all drilled but I only had four drill tanks and one of them was the sick one is 16 inch and the rest are all 12s so I ended up swapping out uh, one of them you'll see here in a second for another 12 that isn't drilled and I'm gonna run it slightly differently but the two middle tanks are going to be raised up higher and they're going to uh, have just pure algae cultures growing in them. I'm going to filter them, I'm going to put a large light over them, a 24 hour light, and I'm going to make some really pea soup green uh, water. And then I'm going to have an auto fill system which is going to fill these two tanks and then they're going to drain into the tank on the right. And that has obviously an overflow and I showed you a little short clip there of a black pipe in the background. Uh, that is a pipe that feeds into the overflow system for the fish room and this is going to pretty much be an automatic way of feeding that tank on the right and it's going to be feeding it uh, green out water and then I'm going to have cultures of uh, Daphne in there. Daphne and hopefully Cyclopsis. And uh, this way I don't have to worry about you know feeding regularly and all that sort of stuff and I want to grow some kind of culture that's continuous that I can feed to uh, baby fish. So I'm going to also in the long term have this feed into something else as well uh, but we'll just have <laughs> to one step at a time so this is completely recycled all the materials you've seen, seen so far has either come off of the old rack that I took down because I had a few extra tanks because that one was eight tanks long and the new one uh, is only five so I had a few extra tanks uh, I think I broke one in the process uh, this bar on the top is the old spray bar and now I'm going to use it as an overflow instead and because this bench was originally only made to hold tiny little tanks and these are a little bit longer than that uh, I put an extra leg brace in there. So I'm going to cut these down as you can see here on the left and this is going to attach underneath. So the old spray bar system now will be a drip system for the tank on the right. And you'll notice I put one for the one on the left as well even though this is not going to be automatic and the reason I'm at, well two reasons why I'm not doing it that way. First off I don't have another drill tank and I didn't feel like drilling that one. Uh, but also I've, I've come to the conclusion if you have everything on one system if something goes wrong obviously it goes wrong to the whole system. So that one tank will be partially isolated and hopefully if something goes wrong with this uh, it will continue and I, and I can obviously reset. So this is my scrap bin for parts. I mean, you see there's acrylic in there, there's aluminum, there's brass, there's all kinds of stuff in here. And this is what I pulled out all the parts for. From this and from a few bits of metal that I still had left from this old rack that was sitting here. The other thing I'm recycling is the strip, the light, the, uh, this thing here. This is the LED strip light that I had in the middle row. And you can see uh, it looks like a lot of them are burnt out, but that's actually not the case. I've just been unfortunately a little rough with it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off some segments. Uh, these are a little over two feet. Now I can't uh, recycle this whole thing uh, on this project because I need that uh, long length of aluminum uh, for uh, the new section for the recycle rack for the middle row there. They're going to go there. So I did actually have to cut a little bit of aluminum uh, for uh, some of the cross pieces. 
those are the two from the old brackets and then I have uh, four more here three of them are going to be also lights for this and then one's going to be just a, a cross piece so this is going to be uh, a bracket system that's going to sit on top of those two middle tanks now because I'm making this from uh, recycled parts from the old rack and also for some offcuts uh, some of the distances and heights and whatnot are being chosen for me because I didn't really want to cut any new material the biggest uh, note for that is these uh, these are risers these are going to hold the light system off the tank and normally I would make it anywhere between six and ten inches and I think these turned out to be a seven and a quarter or something and there's no real point in cutting them to a specific uh, dimension so what I did is I took the two that are the same and then I cut uh, two more from uh, off cuts uh, so that they're all the same and then that's all that really matters. It doesn't. It, it'll be held up properly, and I just have to twig a little bit how uh, the front of it is, so I make sure I can get my arm in there for whatever I need to do. And other than that, it really doesn't matter much. Now, this is going to have five strips of light going across the top. Now, that's an awful lot normally. Uh, in the rest of the fish room, I have two strips, but they are 10K, so they're a lot more intense. Uh, these are going to be old strips. Uh, the ones that were on the old rack, I think, were 5K. And then I have, I think, some uh, more. Well, it's kind of hard to think of, I suppose, as LED tapes as offcuts, but I have offcuts of that, and they range between 5 and 6K. So there aren't going to be any 10K ones at all on this. But because you can grow algae cultures with uh, just red light, uh, these are going to be more than enough. But I wanted enough intensity here to make sure that I got really good green soup going and I think this is going to manage quite nicely. So these are the two uh, ones that have already been uh, taped up and wired and everything. All I'm going to do is bracket on the uh, the three new ones. Well, these are these are probably the only parts that aren't technically off cuts. Uh, I had made a job for someone a little while ago and I had about four or five pieces that were fairly close to four feet but not quite so they weren't really good for uh, a lot of work that I do out uh, but they're perfectly fine for this so they kind of fit into the back into the into this recycled concept so there you go I'm gonna tighten all these bolts down uh, off camera uh, because that's I think enough of watching that and this video is already getting very long and my apologies for that so here we go this is everything bolted in place and uh, just with the two uh, the two tapes that are already there and that's where it's going to sit it's going to give me plenty of room to access the front and now all I need to do is flip this thing over and uh, attach uh, the new strips well the the strips these here like I said these are off cuts uh, this I'm actually here I didn't end up using uh, it is actually 10k and I was, I t was tempted to use it uh, but I found enough out of the rest of it the older stuff that I decided to go with those instead. No real reason other than that particular piece right here I might be able to again use for some other project later on where the quality of light is a little bit more important and in this particular case it really isn't so uh, it was just like I said it was just an easy. So these here I'm gonna cut up now and get ready for the soldering part and that's pretty much all there is left to do to this I can't do the auto water change part on this uh, today because, well, first off, this video is already <laughs> going to be 12 minutes long, and I want to get to something else near the end of this, uh, so it's it's going to have to wait for another day. And I also the main reason for it, to tell you the truth, is I wanted to get this up as quickly as possible and get the algae culture going because that's the key to feeding the Daphne and the Cyclopses. I need as you know nice bright green water and it takes a little while for it to grow and I wanted to get it started as soon as possible. So I'm going to take these on now and then we're going to switch over to uh, the soldering and then we're going to put a little bit of water in this and get it to the point where uh, like I said I can start growing some green water. And now before we get to the end end of this video uh, there's one more thing I want to cover. And that is to get to the draw I had missed on Sunday. I had gotten really busy, and lots of things are opening up now, and I have clients that have things that need to be made for them, uh, just tons and tons of work. 
and it's actually not nearly as what I, much as I used to do. I mean, I used to work 60 hours a week, and I think I'm getting kind of close to 40 now, uh, which obviously is a lot less than 60. Uh, but these are the kinds of things that uh, obviously take time to get used to because I'm finding it hard enough to organize 40 hours at the moment. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, I promised that anyone who had left uh, desktop in their comment on uh, the video there for the desktop tank a little while ago, uh, I would do a draw, and uh, that's what's going to happen now. I'm not going to do it on screen because uh, I said this video is already long enough, and it doesn't really make any difference anymore. What I did is I uh, just uh, rolled two dice, uh, like I used to do in the old days for this, and then just counted down from the top, uh, going through the ones that said desktop, until I got to the number, and that person, believe it or not, is Mary. Mary is someone who's uh, been leaving some lovely comments, and I'm going to uh, leave my email, Mary, at the end of this, and uh, you get a hold of me, and we'll figure out something that I can put together for you and get sent off to you. Uh, just keep in mind, it needs to be something reasonably small, because even though things are opening up and uh, getting busy, <laughs> I'm yet to be paid for any of this, so uh, money is a little bit tight. So uh, my ap apologies for that, because... Uh, I, you guys deserve more than just, you know, something tiny, but I have another idea for giveaways, and that's going to be coming up shortly. Uh, I think I'll probably say something about it on Sunday's video. Uh, and anyway, I'll save that for then, and you guys can let me know what you think about that. So anyway, congratulations again, Mary, and uh, the rest of this video I'm actually going to cut reasonably short because I'm not going to show you the rest of that. I'm just going to do the rest of the soldering offline. Uh, like I said, you can see the mix of colors there. It's kind of interesting. I'm going to put a bit of water in this now and get it percolating. Uh, and then I need to build filters for this. There's a whole pile more work to do on this, and that will be coming up uh, shortly. And then I want to get those running as quickly as possible. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe. And as always, leave lots of comments. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.